They like this corner. That's what they like. That's a big chunk of bush. Yeah. Between here and the river, they like to bed there. Quiet this morning. Got in here a little late, but it's the first first day. But nothing. We're gonna go down to another spot. We're gonna do that because they're used to the four wheelers and tractors and everything going back across. And I I don't want to leave a scent trail going across that field. So we're just gonna look around, see what's around today, and get the feel of everything. And we got eight days. Hi, I'm Bob Folkrod, and welcome to another Winchester Legend Show. We're headed to British Columbia to hunt elk, and not in the mountains where you might think or where you've seen me hunting before. We are hunting farmlands, and all around us are the mountains. I got to tell you, I'm excited just to see the country. I mean, we we flew in we, we overnight in Edmonton, and then we had a, about a seven-hour drive, and then going through the park and some spectacular country. We seen sheep, and we seen some elk, and. And we finally get to a camp and we pull in. The country's beautiful. Bob's hunting outside of McBride, British Columbia with Wild West Outfitters. And if his elk hunt goes well, there may be time to add a bear hunt to the itinerary too. I knew we were home, you know, not home Pennsylvania, but when you pulled in there, it felt like you were home, like you'd been there before. They had got a, a wall tent put up, that was gonna be the kitchen and that was where we were gonna eat and the wood stove was in there. They was trying to make this the best hunt they could. There's a lot of good things going for it. It's got good elk, we've got good moose, we've got good goats, and a lot of bear. I'm pretty sure they're bedded down right there. This is where I'm gonna start. It's our first day. We got one spot right here. If they come out over here, we can back out, go around this bush and come back in. I may go over there and put another blind just like that right here. When we first started coming up here 15 years ago, there was no elk. They migrated from Jasper Park. We were allocated tags up here for the elk. So the elk haven't been hunted a lot and uh, there's a lot of good elk and there's a lot of numbers of elk. We do have some very good quality bulls. I've hunted elk in northern BC and there are lots of elk, but I don't see them with the, with the mass that they have here. We realized we got here just probably a little early. The elk wasn't really responding to calls and it wasn't really bugling hard. And so we made, a, we made a ground blind. Yeah, I just got in the blind, made some last minute adjustments, got my binoculars, my calls hanging up. I'm guessing they're gonna come here. I get about four hours to set and wait just to see what happens. I'm excited. Probably half to three quarters an hour before dark, I looked over with binoculars and, and here comes a little bull out. Yeah, we got a little bull right there looking at us. He's checking that field out. There's some cows coming out. There's another one. They're a little nervous, so the cows are turning back. I don't know, the thermals are changing a little bit. I wouldn't think he'd get our scent, but there's something they didn't like, that's for sure. Mike said there's a cut back. I don't know how far that cut goes back up in there, but we'll take a look at it tomorrow. The second morning. Wind's blowing pretty good yet today. We got in here a little earlier, but they've already left. We're just gonna sit here and listen for a minute. Well, this part of the country is pretty unique. We are right in the middle of the farm country, and we got mountains all around us. We got goats on one side, glaciers over the other side. Winchester Legends host Bob Folkrod is hunting in the shadows of the Canadian Rockies, where the elk and plenty of other big game animals are big, wild, and abundant. Got a cow elk out in the middle of the field. Came from over there where they tried to come out from last night. Just one feeding 
out by himself. Well, one thing for sure is good optics, I don't care what you're hunting, good optics is the thing. You can set back, you don't have to put any pressure on the animal, see what it is, see whether you're gonna stalk it or not, and that's exactly what we did in this case. We had a game plan where we were gonna get up extra early in the morning. Guess what, it was downpouring. Did you check the weather for your game? But our game plan was still the same thing. We got up the next day at four o'clock. We thought maybe we were bumping them out a little bit with a four wheeler, so we were moving at five o'clock and I think daylight was getting around quarter to seven, something like that. Boy, it's tough when they're not talking. Talking just enough, he's, he's in here someplace. We need him to talk one more time so we don't bust him out here. We got up into the field, listening, listening, nothing. Figured, well, they're probably bedded up. Come on, big boy, talk to me. So we'd walk a little bit, and I'm glassing with the binoculars to see if they were bedded up in the field. And we're sitting there listening, and all of a sudden, one bugle. come around the corner and it was like god dang it opened right up and he's bugling right there and you got cows down here we're playing the wind oh god you hear him i can hear him there's one here there's one over here yeah. we need to get to that corner right there we need to get to that corner Well, we came out and hit the old road on the opposite side as the end of their property. That kind of gave us an advantage. Now we know, okay, they're not in the road, they're still in the woods, and we took off and running up the road. I need to get to that pine tree right there. We're running up through there. All of a sudden, I can see antlers coming. God damn, right there he is. Right there he is. I can just see the top of his head. There's a cow. He's coming this way. Let him come. That's a bad angle. He could turn around and run in the woods any single time. And all of a sudden, two cows this side of him came across the fence, and he started walking toward us. OK, there's that front shoulder. Here we go, here we go. walked up in there where he was and started to go in. Gosh dang, if we didn't walk in there like 40 yards, and Dale hollered, here he is right here. You know, he didn't go far at all. I mean, it was, it was a highlight. I'll tell you what, that was, you want to talk about an exciting hunt. Hunting over here in British Columbia with my good friends. And it's been a great time. Another elk down goes in my memory bank and and most of all, I'll remember not only the elk, but the, the folks that was here. It was more than just a hunt, you know. I came out, out of this whole place with an elk, but I also came out with a whole bunch of friends.